Suzaville. All right. Just boil up some water. 203 degrees. So it's All about right. 203 degrees. And I'm gonna pour this off into the thermos. Simulating that we have some piping hot food in the um, thermos. And we're gonna cap it. Okay, so we're gonna put the cover on. Water's at just under 200 degrees. And we're gonna let it sit for an hour and test it in an hour, test it in two hours, test it in three hours and um, see how effective the uh, Reflectix material and the design of this thermos is. See you in a little bit. So it's 125 degrees after sitting out here for an hour and uh, 20 okay, minutes. Okay, it's been... Uh... It's 45 degrees hour. outside, and the water is 112 degrees after being outside for two and a half hours. Not bad. All right, it's been four hours. Cut the wet door, cut! All righty, so four hours. Outside, 45 degrees. Water is at 90 degrees. So, 91. 91 degrees. 90, it's okay, 92 degrees. So, not bad. The thermos seems to work well. Over a four hour period, it went down from about 200 degrees to 90, or, you know, 92 degrees. And that was with um, pulling the cover off and opening the jar a couple of times, which I'm sure is going to um, affect uh, how long it'll last. But I'm thinking that this thermos, if you put the food or liquid in at a couple hundred degrees, that you're, you're probably still going to be eating a warm meal um, five hours later, um, perhaps six so if you store uh, the thermos in your pack and you surrounded it with some with your extra layer of clothing what if you're carrying a down sweater or a fleece and you were to put that around it I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that it would last even longer this has been sitting outside just like this so if it's in a backpack that's gonna hold in more heat you've got some clothing around it's going to hold even more heat so perhaps you know six seven hours in a pack so good option for um day hikes when you're going uh, with a large group and you're not going to stop to cook also an option for overnight is if you're cooking a meal and you want to have a hot meal later on but not have to cook you know cook again you can put it in your thermos uh, store it there till later also an option for um, filling with uh, hot water, you know, hot boiling water before bed, sealing tightly and putting under uh, your pack, which is under your sleeping bag um, in your torso area and using it as a hot water bottle. And this insulation is going to uh, probably be very useful because I've, I've used it many times and usually when you have uh, you know, you're putting a hot water bottle in your sleeping bag, you get that intense heat right away, and then it it um, wears off later on. This is gonna help you conserve that heat and, and uh, it'll dissipate out slowly. So it's got a few uses, um, so it might make it worth the four ounces that it weighs. All right, peace, Suzaville.